What I have here is Denon's AVR S900W receiver. That W stands for wireless, and that's actually the big news here. It supports both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It'll let you stream music from any number of devices. It'll let you stream high-res audio, and the great news, this fully featured receiver is only 600 bucks. You can tell what I mean by fully featured just by looking at the back. It's got a total of eight HDMI inputs. There are seven on the back, one up front, and two HDMI outputs. One of those is uh, ARC compatible. And then uh, you can see it's a 7.1 channel receiver with the option of going 5.1 in one room and driving another set of speakers in another room. You've got the ability to uh, run up to two subwoofers with this receiver. These two antennas are how it connects to your Wi-Fi network and uh, Bluetooth devices. Up front, you'll notice that there's a series of buttons, and this is just for quick access to some of the usual suspects of inputs or sound processing modes. We also have an HDMI input up front and then a USB input, which I would probably use to stream high-res audio. And that reminds me, this does support WAV file, playback, DSD, um, FLAC. So if you're into high-res audio these days, the Denon S900 will do it. You'll also notice that there is a setup mic input up front, and that is for this, the Odyssey setup microphone. You plug it in, um, and it starts emitting a bunch of test tones and uh, aims to set up your system for you, get the crossover points and the levels just right. I've never been a huge fan of that particular system, but what I do like is that they provide this sort of origami stand that you can assemble so that it makes it a little bit easier to put that mic at your regular listening position. This thing is loaded for $600, so that just has me wondering, is it easy to use, and more importantly, does it sound good? You'll find out in our full written review. What I have here is Denon's AVR S900W receiver. That W stands for wireless, and that's actually the 